Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in csharp.net how to display records into a simple HTML select option element which is a drop down list from PostgreSQL database. And here we got the final output. Notice the head axis. Below that we got a horizontal line and got the drop down list which is a select option element. The data, the colors, columns we are getting from the PostgreSQL database red, blue, green, white from this colors table I have binded into this simple HTML select option element in csharp.net web form tutorials that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in csharp.net, first we'll check the table in PostgreSQL database. The table I have selected for this example is a color which contains two columns ID and color name. Now my aim is I want to bind this color name column into the select option element which is a drop down list in csharp.net. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET web application so so come to the bottom I'm selecting ASP.NET web application.NET framework click next let's give the project name display data select option is my project name and the .NET framework I'm using 4.7.2 click create Let's select the web form templates. Create. And the project is created successfully. Let me close this default window. Now, first in this project, I will add the PostgreSQL DDL library to connect the database. So, in the Solution Explorer, notice in the project there is a references folder. Select that one, right click the mouse, go to manage nugget packages, then go to browse and select and search for mpgsql. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option mpgsql. Click install. Click OK. And here the download symbol is showing successful which means this package the dll and pg sql package is installed successfully into our project references folder let me expand this references folder come to the bottom notice here the dll library is installed successfully after that first let's close this nested package window now we'll add one new web form page to our project Select the application name, project name, right click the mouse, uh, go to add and click new item. From the visual C shop, I'm selecting web, then select web form. Let's give the web form name is, I'm giving the web form name index. Click add. And here we got our, the source page of the ASPX. Now between form and due tag, I'm adding the center tag. Inside the center tag, I'm adding H1. How to display records into select option, select option element from PostgreSQL. In the H4, I'm adding another heading cshop.net web form tutorials. After the headings, I'm adding horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding a simple select element. In the select element, I'm adding a placeholder. So, open toolbox. Uh, here is the uh, where it is. So after adding the necessary elements to this form page in the on the source page next right click the mouse select the view code 
Now before writing the coding part in the page load event, first let's install um, the packages using npg sql and the next class I'm adding system.data class. So after adding these two packages, next in the page load event, we'll add npg sql connection. Let's create an object new npg sql connection. And this connection takes a string parameter between double quotes. Now between these double quotes, we'll add our the PostgreSQL connection string. So to get the PostgreSQL connection string, I guess switch back to the database. Notice the PostgreSQL tool, the root folder. I click the mouse, go to properties, and the in the pop-up window, notice the connection tab, second one, click that one. And here you can find the connection string variables like server name, port name, username. First, we'll add the server name, which is localhost. Copy that one. Server is equals to localhost, semicolon. Next, we require the port number. The port number is 5432. Copy that one and paste here. Next, we require the database. The table I have created in the Charan database. So let's add the database name is Charan semicolon user ID is equals to the user ID is Postgres, which is a username semicolon and last one is a password we require password one two three semicolon. So after adding the connection string, next let's open the connection count dot open method. Then we'll use the SQL command to fetch the records. Uh, npg SQL command, npg SQL command, com is equals to new npg SQL command. Then let's add the command properties com dot connection is equals to con object. Next com dot command type is equals to command type dot text next com dot command text is equals to the command text is a select query so this is let's close this one this is a query we need to add here between double quotes so after adding the command properties next we'll add npg sql data adapter and da is an object new npg sql data adapter and this adapter takes a parameter this command object let's copy that one and paste here after that we'll add one data set element data set class ds is equals to new data set and now here dot let's fill the data with the data set ds the uh, command object let's execute query after that we'll dispose this command object then let's close the connection string with the close method with the close method now after refreshing the records from this color table using this connection string next I want to display the data, the color name column from this color table into this select element. So here I'm adding a string builder class to access the HTML elements in the code behind in C sharp.net. We use a string builder, string builder class as B is equals to new string builder. After that, now after creating the string builder object, next we'll add the table. For that, I'm using if condition. In the data set, I'm adding the tables takes an array. And notice here, this tables takes the integer type, the index value. Here, I'm adding zero. So zero means we are using only one table. So the index value of this table is zero dot rows dot count 
from this table if the records are found is greater than 0 then I want to display the records to fetch the records for that I'm using for loop int i is equals to 0 i is less than and ds dot tables 0 dot tables tables 0 dot rows dot count i plus plus so now in the for loop i'm adding sb dot append method with this append method i'm adding my html elements between double quotes so i'm adding um, option semicolon let's close the option here only now between these options i'm adding plus plus ds dot tables zero dot rows the rows we are getting from this integer i the second parameter is a data row data column so between double quotes let's add the column name from the table which is a color name so let's add that one color name that's it now after that we'll add this option element in this placeholder so let's add this id of the placeholder placeholder one dot controls i'm adding dot add method new literal literal between curly brackets i'm adding the property text is equals to the text we are getting as b dot to string method as b is a new string builder object semicolon that's it we have done the complete coding part now switch over to index page the code source page what i'm doing i'm adding the select not select i'm adding one more option element here selector disabled is equals to true this option is um, the label of the drop down list select option element which is a select color that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the output on the browser and here we got the final output notice the head axe below that we got a horizontal line and got the drop down list which is a select option element the data the colors columns we are getting from the postgresql database red blue green white from this colors table i have binded into this simple html select option element in cshop.net web form tutorials that's it